What's up guys, this is Eric Choi here. We're off to Ghostwork today to install a camber plate on my GT3RS. Why do I need that? Because there's a major, major failure that Porsche didn't want to fix it. And we have to install some parts to fix that issue. But first of all, let's do a cold start. Let's go. We are at the ghost works and gonna let you know what the issue is with the struck towel. Porsche knows about it and the reason they know about it is because they made a part to fix it on the cup car. People have horrible, horrible experience with the shock towel. They go on the track or they hit a pothole on the road. The suspension just went through the shock towel and shoot through the hood. And they damage the hood. The hood is like 15, 20K. This happens especially on the GT car on the GT4, GT3, GTS, GT Cup car. It all happens to have that failure. So here's the shock tower plate from a Porsche Cup car. It's a factory parts they produce for the Cup car to prevent the shock tower crack, but they don't do it on the road car. So they know the issues there, but they just don't solve it on the road car. And we also have a R Racing breakaway camber plate. And that's something new we're gonna install today with Nick. Hello? After reading that, we have some understanding of how this works. It's basically when you have impact, there's a mechanism in there that will break away, right? Yeah, so there's these four screws, one, two, three, four, they provide already. You can put more in here if you want it stiffer, but mm -hmm. basically the first area of failure is here. So those four bolts will break mm -hmm. and this will absorb the impact and this will catch it. I see. So from my understanding, basically something have a puncher from the bottom that will break away first instead of breaking my shock yeah, tower. Yeah, exactly. Instead of cracking the shock tower, or worse, pushing it through. And then this top plate will basically <laughs> capture yeah. that breakaway. Yeah, so it'll kept, catch this piece. This will absorb the impact because it's just in here like this. Oh, and I it'll see. It'll catch this. That should be it. And it should be an easy installation, right? Yeah, from the looks of this, it looks fairly simple. So mm -hmm. we'll then see. they have full installation guide, very detailed. Mm -hmm. I just went for a lunch and you finished the installation already. You don't have to remove the uh, suspension at all? No, you just take the center nut out and you let it droop. You pull mm -hmm. one of the sway bar end links so that they can travel independently of each other. And okay. You just kind of pull it down a little bit and it falls out. Okay, that sounds very easy for you, not me, I'm not a mechanic. Yeah. But uh, basically this is the top mount and um, if I want to check if there's any issue with it, I can just remove this free bolt, remove it, and then see if it's loose. Yeah. And now, um, so that's the factory nuts. Uh, we want to mark it. You want to do the other? Sure. Thank you, R Racing. And we also have a cup plate on it. Look at that sexy wheel from Forge Club. This is the HF107. That looks like a two piece, but it's actually a monoblock with a high polished lip, set in gunmetal gray in the center. That like your little details for the center lock. Love it. Love my new wheels. Mm -hmm. Hold it harder. There you go. You gotta hold the brake harder. Hold the brake harder? Yeah. There it is. Now I'm gonna go do the other side and then we're gonna have to detorque it 90 degrees and then we have to torque it again. Oh, the process. Porsche. <laughs> because it's a race car. Kobe. Today we're going to do a photo shoot with four other different RS that are in different color. Theme today is Skittles. <laughs> Everybody. We arrived it and Jeff is waking up everybody. What a good day. We have racing yellow, lizard green, guard red, voodoo blue. Now we're gonna go for a roller. Well, 
cops stop us because of the camera car. And that's it for today. We're back on the freeway heading home. And thanks you guys for watching. That's just sharing some of the daily stuff that I do in there during the weekend. Not much about the project, but we will have more update about the 190 soon. I'll be sharing my plans with you guys of what I'm gonna do. And uh, we're gonna be heading and putting the hands on that car very soon. Thank you guys for watching. And that's it.